In my head, I always want Mexico. Like I always feel sad that Mexico's not. It's like it's considered the way it's or it's viewed in a in a light that it is. Like everyone who talks about Mexico is like everyone that's not that hasn't been there probably like in the cities and stuff. They think Mexico is everywhere. It's all like when, run when, down. Oh, everywhere in Mexico. Well, everybody down. knows it's 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 a poor country, but they view it as. I think Mexico is viewed in like a negative light. It's like you only go in to, general. Yeah, like they always think like Mexico, drugs, Mexico, drugs, smugglers. Uh, but people go over there to vacation, but they only go to certain spots, Cancun, just by the water. It's usually where they stay. They don't go to to like Mexico. Mexico. They don't go to like Hermosillo, where you said you've been. Yeah, that's like that's hella nice. Like, and that was just one place. So there has to be a bunch of other places that are hella nice, we just haven't been to. And I and I don't know. It just seems something about Mexico is like maybe just because, um, we were Mexican, so it's like, or I just feel like Mexico. It's sad. It's just sad that the state that it's in, and it's it just seems like everything's corrupt over there. Well, everywhere is corrupt. It's corrupt everywhere, but in in Mexico is like you can't at least here. You, you, there's ways for you to own a gun and carry it in majority of the states. So, and it's illegal over there. And you over there, well, it's you can only get it, I think, in Mexico City, right? It was only one. Well, they city. only have, well, I, I, I heard that they only have one gun store in Mexico City. In, Me in Mexico, somewhere in Mexico, there's one gun store. It has to be in Mexico City because that's where, that's where they, that's where they sell guns. I think, uh, isn't it illegal for anyone to have guns? So how, why would they sell guns? No, they have, so it's not, it's a, you can, you can attain a, yeah, like a you gun looked license. It up? Yeah. I, I, okay. I, I, it was a long time ago, but I remember I looked it up and it said that you can obtain a gun license, but they don't promote it. So they, they don't promote any type of like fire, buying firearms. They don't, it's not promoted. So a lot of people don't know They it's, it's just illegal. If you don't have the right permit for it, you can't own it. Right. But in order to obtain a permit, you got to go through so many um, hoops and jumps and stuff that they make you do. And because thought, nobody's got money and it's expensive, yeah. it's so expensive to get the permit. And then it's so expensive to buy the gun. That's why nobody got guns. I thought nobody can have guns. I thought it was illegal to own a gun. If you don't have the permit. I thought it was illegal, period. No, there's certain people that, that are able to obtain the permits because... They either know someone or they got money and then they can own, but you got to have a certain permit. I, I remember uh, but reading Like how many, what's the percentage of people who actually go get permits? Like people who want guns, they just buy them. Cause they could, they could, this illegal, but they still have them. Who, who goes like, let me do it the right way and get the permit. Nobody cares. Cause about nobody's that. got money, but it's like, I feel like one way to, it's cause it's, it's, it's unfair when these, the, the cartels come in. Right. And then everybody got guns. Right, they got guns, right? But nobody else got guns. So how you how you supposed to fight? How you supposed to fight against something that you are like you're completely overwhelmed? So I feel like one thing that if if the if Mexican like the, the president, if they really wanted to resolve, it's just like there's no way out. There's like you know, without murder, it's like there's no way coming out it's of because yeah, it's, it's, it's murder. Be hella bad. It's gonna be crazy murder, but it's it's like the only way. No matter which way you go, even if they put the military like they're doing now, how they're just combating cartels, it's like, it's going to be murder. Like the, how you told me that they're just killing innocent people. Yeah. Just bombing stuff. And it's like, there's no way to avoid people, innocent people dying. But at least if you gave everybody guns, well, not everybody, but it's like, Give it, make it legal so that they can own and carry guns, right? And just flood Mexico with guns. Not everybody got guns. The normal civilian, a normal regular guy that does the nine to five or whatever, got a gun. So it's like people, people who yeah, but uh, you still have to buy it, and a lot of people don't have money. I wonder what would, it's because so it's, how would they get a gun? Just giving a bunch of people guns, it just doesn't seem smart, huh? Just giving the whole popul Mexican population guns. But and I wonder if you do, if you allow them to purchase one, like I was saying. No, for free. They might not even have, well, who's going to pay for that? 
Well, in Mexico, I feel like Mexico got money. The Mexico, the country as a whole, is just, I don't think it's managed good. And I'm not sure how exactly, like, what the, like, where they, where they rank. Look it up. Rank in what? I want to, I want to know where Mexico ranks as when it comes to the economy. I want to know how strong the economy is for Mexico. Cause I know that they have, my dad was telling me something about they have, uh, some gas. They, 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 I don't know if they have some like in the world oil, economy, some oil that they have. I don't know. I mean, he was telling me something. Cause I know that I've heard stories of the old, the, the previous Mexican president, uh, would uh, something to do with selling. He was like selling gas for, and he was pocketing the money or something. Is this it right here? <clears throat> but put it. Cause I don't know. I don't it, even know what I'm looking at. It's yeah, just, but just put. Put a just put a um, top put top twenty, um, top twenty economies economies in the world. You think it's in there? <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be in there. It's gonna be like thirty or something. That's probably another word for it, or another saying for it. GDP. Yeah, the, the GDP is just the the. I don't know what the hell that means, but. Damn, it's motherfucker loud. Uh, Mexico is at 15. You see? So you're saying 15th in the world. How many countries is there in the whole world? A shit ton. And yeah. We're, we're ranked on top 15. Okay, so then top 15, you're saying that they can't afford certain shit? They can afford it. I feel like it's just the money's not. Everybody's pocketing money. It's too much money getting pocketed. Well, everywhere. yeah, like because there's a lot of corruption. So even the politicians. Yeah, that's, that's so, so it's like involved with it. And, and it's getting, sometimes you're like, it, it's like when you start, when the cartels come in and they force, they force, they threaten, let's say they threaten them or it's just hard to, to, to blame them to be like, okay, they're, you know, they don't want to, they don't, they don't want nothing happen to their family or to them. So it's like, but, but then the, like, it's just like here in the U S right. All these senators. Right. They have they all have security. All these dudes have security. And it's like I feel like Mexico let let it let it got let it go too far before it's like now that they wanna combat it. It's like they're they're strong. So it's like there's not really much I mean, you can do what you think you they have to do. I don't I don't know when it comes to this what's the correct way, the correct road, but it's like there's gonna be murder. It seems like it's a it's a very it's a very difficult thing to solve. People have talked about, you know, the U.S. getting involved because they have such a strong enemy right next to them. And the I think the average person in America doesn't understand the level of violence that's happening in Mexico. Craziness. So I think if they knew, right, because they think all the danger is over there in, in Iraq and in Afghanistan, but the Taliban and they think that's the danger, but if they knew that right next to us, what was going down over there, it's hella bad. Remember, remember, there was like a, I think it was a documentary you told me about. I forgot what it was called, but remember how you said that the guy was ex was explaining. Maybe it wasn't a documentary, but you were telling me that he was explaining to the public as far as like what is actually happening, and. The you know how you told me about the the truck full of kids. Yeah, that was the I don't remember the story completely to like retell it again, but they found a like a semi truck, you know that large containers, and it was like it was filled with kids, kids and I think mainly kids, and they were using them to take their organs, and. People were saying that those organs come to America and those organs go to other places, not just in Mexico, that the demand for those organs is not in Mexico. That's what the, the cartel were saying. So they had, and the journalist that I follow, I don't remember his name, but he talks about it. He talks about that truck full of kids and he said, imagine all the ones that we didn't find, right? This, and it's hella sad to think that it's like, Mexicans are the ones that are doing this, but it's not like all, it's the cartels that are doing this, but even those cartels, 
Like they, those, how do they, how do they replenish? How do they soldier up? Like how, how do they do that to be able to, 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 to be able to have people that work for you that are willing to do that, kill kids and take their organs. It just seems like, well, that's not like the main thing. That's not how they recruit. Like, come on, let's help us do this. They just recruit by it's money. Money has a big deal and a lot of influence over the kids growing up. And it's the same thing as over here when you grow up and you see the gangster, right? And he has everything and you're struggling and you barely got enough to get by and you see this guy and this guy's doing good. That's probably what influences them to go like, yeah, fuck it. But there's a, there's a lot of crazy shit that a lot of people don't know about. There was this place that they discovered. I wish I would have read up more on it like recently because it's been a while. So I'd be able to tell more. But there was this area that was discovered that they were burning people 24-7. The thing never stopped. So it was like an independent person or a police that was hearing rumors. And he took it upon himself to go investigate. And he went and then he seen it. He's like, oh shit, it's real. And he monitored it for days. And he said that, uh, I don't know what they were using to, they were cutting up bodies and then they were burning them, right? And he said that shit never stopped. And the whole time he was there? The whole time he was there for multiple days. They, so that means just the amount of bodies they were burning. It's a crazy number. And, now, and, and where the hell, where, where are these people coming from? What do you mean? Like all these people that they're burning, right? They would have to, it'd be people that they're killing, but where, like to, to be running 20, like you said, for multiple days, nonstop, that's, that's a lot of people that they killed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what, where those bodies are coming from or well, if they're innocent people, I don't know what, but we don't know, we don't know what's going on. Like it's just that in itself, if you look into it, it's Probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And and when you said that people would talk about that the youth should, should get involved, and you you would hear you would um you would hear people, and it's like I understand that you would say like we're gonna spend a lot of tax tax people's dollars trying to combat another country's problem, problem. when we have our own problems here. It, but it's like it's like it, it's too it's too dangerous to ignore. It's too dangerous to ignore, and like how far. How far are you willing to let it slide, right? And then until it starts affecting us, and then you here. have you have an enemy right next to you that's strong as fuck. Yeah, because yeah. people right now say that the cartels run Mexico, not the government. That statement itself is crazy. To say that the cartels run the government, they have that much power, and there's not even. For the people listening who don't know, there's multiple cartels. There's not just one. Imagine if they ever joined forces. It'd be crazy. And there's some who have more morals and some who are just like, we don't give a fuck about nothing. But imagine if all these cartels joined together, the, how powerful they would be is crazy. It's a real army. And then the guns, they have guns. They have crazy guns too. It's not they're not just walking around with pistols. They got automatics, they got machine guns, they, they got, got rocket launchers. So you know the one they they you know that the like Call of Duty gun? You know which the, one? The one that they gotta hold, you know, the Rocky shit where you Oh, the one that you gotta hold the bullets like this? Yeah, the, or, or not Rocky Rambo shit. The ran, where they gotta hold the the you know how he holds he he would go fight the guys in the movie, he would fight the guys in Well, the, I don't know what that gun's called though. I don't know what it's but called. I don't know what you're talking about though. But it would have the big chain that, yeah, that he would carry yeah. that are attached together. And he just they probably have that shit too. Huh? They do. Remember remember uh did you when you went to Mexico, do you remember I thought you said you seen a truck? Yeah, when we were, um, we went to the inner city because uh, where our people live is more like, there's not really that much stuff there. It's kind of like deserted. So when we went into the inner city, um, there was a truck and it had a machine gun attached to the back of the, to the bed of the truck. And there was a soldier just Oh, it was military. Like, yeah, it was military. It was military. Oh. And he was just walking around. But I remember seeing that like, oh shit, it's real out here. It's weird to see to to to, to see that. Huh? It'd be weird to see that, but it's probably normal then, huh? Just to have the, the military dudes and that like that. 
Cause, yeah. Because here I've never seen. I, I've seen you ever seen it on the freeway. A lot of times you'll see the, the little, um, the what would they call them? Like a like a squad. It's like a military squad. They have a, a few Humvees. Yeah. And they're just you know cruising. Sometimes down you the see freeway. a bunch of them, huh? And I'm like, where are they going? Are they like transporting them <laughs> to a different base or? You hear the comments of like, we're preparing for war. Huh. You always hear that. We're preparing for war when you see the Humvees or when you see all this military equipment being traveled through the freeway. Well, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's just like supplies. They're probably running supplies from one base to another, something like that. Um, but the, I just, I don't know. I have no idea what, what the U S I feel like it, it is too strong and for it not to help at least a little do something because um, well people will argue like you said that it's, n- it's not our business it's not our business and then people will say why would we yeah waste we'll, all this money they're and gonna say put all this and even yeah, lose lives lose lives yeah. just because for a different country yeah and i understand that uh, so i'm like i can't i can't justify it either but it's like I, but this goes back to just how how how, how I long think, can we ignore it i think if anything right i think the average listener should look up a little bit of it. And that way, when you see these people from Mexico coming to the United States, some people are fleeing the terror, right? So at least you'll be able to sympathize more when you realize what they have to go through every day. Yeah. That's something that probably you guys should uh, look up, even a little bit. But the more you look into it, the crazier it gets. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, it just I, I was so interested and... Who uh, appalled from the shit I was seeing? Because it's your, it's like it's your, it's your people, huh? Yeah, and then to see like someone who looks like me, you know, experiencing this like craziness, and then I can only imagine because I always put it like, what if it was me? Every time something bad happens like that, like what if they took you? Like, and and I'm like, where, where? I don't know where he took them, and. The level of corruption is crazy because they pull up in uniform like the police. Hey, we're taking you because we got to talk to you, whatever. And then you go and then I never see you again. There's stories of families going to police station, police station. Yeah, the police came and got him. I don't know where he's at. So they call this police station, that one. Now they be like, we never picked him up. They're like, somebody picked him up. And then they never see him again. And they had police uniform on. And that's scary because imagine that happening here. Like police officers coming to your house. And saying, "Oh, we're we're taking him," and then, right, and they're like, "We have a we have a warrant or whatever," and they and they got guns, and you don't have any guns, but it's the police. So you're like, "Oh, they, what do you do? You just got to go to the police station, and see what happened, or see what you can do." But yeah, it's not really police; it's some organization. I wonder if that's like the you know you heard stories of people say like uh, the the um, the men and black guys that come visit you, yeah. Uh, I wonder if that shit's real too. There's like supposedly videos of that I've seen now. They people say it's the men in black and they make shit disappear and shit like that. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. There's certain things that I believe there's evil in the world, and I believe there's organizations and people out there who have grouped up, um, who have their own plans and their own agenda for sure. I believe in that. There's a, there was, I was listening to uh, Joe Rogan's podcast one time and I remember he had a, uh, I forgot who he had in uh, on there he was talking, but he, he said that the CIA, right? The CIA would send in people that were dressed like, um, for people, for, for the people who would go and have, they would organize and have protests, they would send uh, people that were dressed in like casual clothes and they will send them into to start fucking shit up. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And they will start fucking shit up. And because now it, there, it was no longer a peaceful protest, they started be, like. Yeah, they're like changing the yeah. narrative of the whole point. And, and then, to make it seem like this is this is a dangerous thing. Look at what they're doing. Yeah. And then they would send the, the police in and, the, and the, the dudes with the right shield. Uh, to to di- tell people to disband, and you would you would never think that the own government would be doing shit like doing that. that type of shit. And there's somebody somebody high up 
there's somebody signing that shit off and saying, yeah, fuck it. And it's crazy that that person it has the authority to do it with no checks and balances from anyone on the outside. I think like nowadays, I feel like they're trying anything to divide everybody. And it feels like online, at least, it feels like there's more people dividing right now than anything because there's so much, everybody does, you can't have an opinion no more on certain topics. So that in itself, to not be able to have an opinion, like we should be able to have our own opinion and and disagree with another person's opinion, but still coexist and still not send crazy hatred to somebody just because of that. Yeah, I never, I, I didn't, it, it, I never understood how people get so angry with each other for having an, an, an opposing opinion to yours. And you, I, there's, there's been so many times where people come up to me and, and tell me whether it's religion or, or politics. And how I, even if I don't, I don't, believe what they believe i'm not gonna hate them for it or or, or get mad at them because it's like everyone has a right this that's why the u.s is the u.s everyone has a right to believe what they believe and i think so long as you're not hurting anyone else right so long as you're not doing bad things and hurting other people you yeah, should yeah. be able to believe whatever you want so if somebody came up to me he's like right he's like he was known for helping people and then he yeah find out he he um Worship Satan, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it'd be I, crazy. I'd be like, that's weird, that's weird. But as but, long as he, but you would, it's just because when you would think that, when you would hear that, you would assume that he's doing bad shit. Yeah. So I mean, if if somebody was and it was proven that he wasn't doing anything bad, I think that it would be it would people. I think it's for hard for people to say, okay, allow that person to continue doing what he's doing, but. I mean, if I seen somebody like that and if he's not doing nothing to me, I mean, I'm not going to like start shit with him or say shit to him just because that's what he believes in. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I disagree with him, but we can coexist. I don't have no problem with that. I remember. I might not like be super cool or agree with your points if you ever tried to talk to me and tell me or convince me or something like that. Yeah, there's, there's, the, you shouldn't force ideas on others either. Like, I feel like every, everything comes back to like just talking to them. You know, speaking, you you throwing good points at them, and then the, if it all comes down to being open minded when it comes to conversating with anyone else, because if you're set on an idea and you do not want to let it go, it's like you can never grow. You'll never be able to grow. And a lot of people are closed minded on everything, even when it's like, because I believe in God. So if somebody tells me, I run into people that say I don't believe in God, and then I just be like, well, why not? Like. Well, what made you not believe in God? And I just don't believe in it. Sometimes they don't even have a reason. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you or anything because like, I'm not super religious myself, but I be I do believe in God. And you're still, I'm not going to view you in a different light just because you don't believe in God. Like that's you, that's your life. I don't, I don't, I don't care what you do with your life. Just like you shouldn't care what I do with mine. When 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 I was working at uh at, at uh another Chevy dealer in in Freeland, I remember there's a dude that came up to me. He was like, "Um, are you?" He like, "Do you know if you're gonna go to heaven?" And I was like, "What?" Well, because it was just out the blue, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Um, I told him I I don't I don't know. I told him I don't I think I'm a I think I'm a good person, but I have no idea." And he's like. No, you're not going to heaven. You're going to hell. And I'm like, I, I, I thought he was like, like doing a joke on me or something. And I was like, I was like, why do you say that? And he's like, because if you don't truly know that you're going to go to heaven, then uh, you're not going to go. And then uh, he was explaining to me why he knows he is. And it was an older guy. And I was just thinking, like, I didn't argue with him. I didn't say anything because I, I didn't see the point in arguing with someone that, I feel like it's, it's not, it's not, how do you know? Like, no matter right. what, how do you know? So, but yeah. it's just like, I think, I think he would just, he had a, he had a certain idea in his head and he was like, I, I, or, I don't know. I don't know what was up with him. Well, that's a, that's a bold statement to tell somebody, right? 
that because it, going back to you, how do you know, right? It's because you're not God. Even if I'm a sinner, right? Even if I'm the worst person, you're not the one who's going to judge me. It's going to be God. So for you to tell me you're going to hell, it just, it almost just seemed wrong. Like, well, why would you even say that, right? It's almost just like being rude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. But I understand that. that some people are like, because people say the way to get into heaven is if you believe in Jesus. Then if you don't believe in Jesus, then you're not going to go to heaven. And I think that's based on the Bible. So I think certain people have their certain views when it comes to religion. And yeah, I just let them. One thing I was thinking about that, you know, relates to religion. Um, well, yeah. Um, I was thinking about aliens, right? I was thinking about, because me personally, I believe in aliens. I just think there's so many planets for me not to believe that there's not aliens, right? So I was thinking, I was like, how lucky are we that out of all the planets, because there has to be life out there and it's not proven, but this is just what I believe. But how lucky are we that Jesus came here? And I was like, okay, so if Jesus came here, that would mean we're chosen, we're special, or was this just one of his stops? And he he went to multiple planets and multiple, and talked to multiple species, maybe not even just humans. Would you, would you be, would it be surprising? Because like you said, we don't, there's not, it hasn't been proven, right? But it's just too, it's, it's too many planets. And there's, it is, it just seems unlikely the likelihood of that. It's, that's just crazy. But it, would you be surprised if, um, every planet that, in, that ended up birthing life, it ended up as a human? Like, like there, there wasn't was, no mix? Like, I would be like, if you looked at, if you went to like, let's say, no matter where life started, if it was in the ocean or wherever it started, right? It, if you, if it progressed long enough, it ended up like human. It would be the... At one stage. It would be right? early Because stage. we're human early, now, early right? Stage. But when you look at the future of humans, they would say we're headed to cyberpunk days and shit. Where, where <laughs> they, you, 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 uh, you blend with technology. So now you got robot arms and shit like that. So is this just a stage that we're going through? Just like we were when we were cavemen and monkeys. So like, I would say, so you, so are you asking me like, is everybody just ends up humans period? Like you get the humans. or like just, the, but I'm saying because people might be in different times, like to the time zone, the, the time zone, the time might be different for them. They might be in the caveman days. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like if every I'm just saying in general, any no matter what, if it was a billion years ago, if it was a hundred million years ago, no matter where I was just saying like I'm not saying this is a hundred percent. I'm just saying like, would you be surprised would that um, every planet that ever creates life, it always ended up as eventually you would end up as human, right? But not I'm not just human. Like whatever came after human, if you went into a robot. Or if we downloaded our minds and became whatever. Yeah, it, um, it would surprise me. It would surprise me because it just seems like how can they not be something else that's intelligent that's not like us? That looks completely different. It might be similar, right? I think we could only imagine it would be similar, right? We can't imagine some blob or circle that has no face and no arms and no legs but can communicate. Telepathically? Even with a voice. Hmm. It's like we can't imagine that. And what what if we came across another civilization, right? Aliens, and they were just robots. And there was no sign of human. It was just robots. And and their question was, who built us? And that's what they were searching for their whole life. For years and years and years and years. And they're advanced. You know, they can go to space too. And let's say they're even more advanced than us. So they can hop from planet to planet within range. I think we can't imagine that, right? 
every time anybody talks about alien, I think that everybody's thinking about another human or maybe a, a different type of human from like the movies we watch and stuff like that. Something that looks in big head, green, something like that. But we can't imagine something so crazy. What if it's giants? I used to think Bigfoot when I was like watching a bunch of Bigfoot stuff. I used to think like maybe Bigfoot was alien, was an alien. And it was for whatever reason, just like the woods. And whenever that's why nobody ever found him is because he, he wasn't from here. You think like he just came here to eat some shit and then left? <laughs> I don't know. I just used to think I remember thinking like, what if a, a Bigfoot, like the Bigfoot sightings that people always see? Whether they see them or not, because I'm. I, Where's the book for exciting now? Oh, well, they say it's like in Alaska. They, well, no, but I'm everywhere. saying like, what's the la what's the latest video? What's the latest news yeah, on Bigfoot? Yeah. It seems know. like what well, we're we're getting more advanced. You, it, it would seem like at some point we would be able to outsmart them. And um, there's there's been so many people that have fake stuff. Yeah, there and, is. and 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 it, so it's like. You just, you lose the community as a whole, just gets viewed in a different light. But it's, it's, and also sometimes I can, I can see you, you ever, like, something ever happened to you where you were a hundred percent convinced that it was this way, but then you go back somehow and you either re-see it or check and it completely different for whatever reason, you just remember it the, the other way. So I can understand, I can understand People who see a bear, right, standing up in in the forest, because who said Joe Rogan? I think said that too. Yeah, he, they stand hella tall. Huh? They stand and they walk on two legs. So if somebody and it's it's so it, it's probably really dense in in the some forests where you it you would see something moving really tall and you and first thing thinks is like Bigfoot. Yeah, because if you see something for a second or two, you and you don't know what it is, you just start speculating like, what the fuck was that? And you try to make sense of it from everything that you have seen in the past, right? By size, by everything. Okay, it can't be it can't be a dog because it was too big. It can't be this. And you just start narrowing it down until where you're set on a it was Bigfoot. And so you're like it had and to be you're locked him. In. There was nothing as tall as him. There was not a check. There was nothing. His legs were huge. There's nothing that on this planet that we know of that has legs like this or can move that fast. Or they'll try it. that's how they'll start doing it. Yeah, and I, I've seen people go, like YouTubers, they go do trips where they spend the night in, in the woods or what? Yeah, in the woods where, and they put cameras up and stuff, and they put apples around to see if they can catch anything. And sometimes it's like, I don't, it's like somehow or another they set up a camera and the the camera gets blocked and then the apple goes away and it's like it's like so circumstantial that you're like, I don't believe it. Let's see. But I want to see if um, there's any new Bigfoot sightings, like video 2022, right? There'd probably be stories. Well, it would be like Bigfoot caught on camera. 2022, because you're going to get all of them, even the original one. Camera 2022. Four shocking sightings. The proof is out there. From the History Channel? Should I click on that one? How long is it? Damn, it's 19 minutes. That's too long. This one's three minutes. And it's the first one that popped up. Now, the people listening might not be able to hear this. I'm just going to fast forward through it. Yeah, when it when it's not. America, who claimed to have witnessed this creature after it stalked them in the woods for a little while. What like the heck? Bigfoot videos, we have to deal with the grainy look, and this one's no different. But take a moment. Yeah, but it's like that could just be a dude yeah. That could be it. anything. Well, that can be a dude. And why is it so blurry? Yeah, that yeah. When we got iPhones now. It's just now that we see, right? Now that we, now that when we see videos and they're blurry and stuff nowadays, it's just like, how come, right? It, it just seems, I'm always going to try to debunk it because it's like, okay, 
we have we are known to lie as humans and i don't I'm probably for attention i don't know probably because they wanted to get noticed or something but yeah i don't i don't know i'm always gonna try to debunk it especially when it's like that the only story the only dude that i that i believe that is honest and he and he tells himself he tells himself that he doesn't know what he want, what he's seen, what he heard, right? He didn't see it. He just heard it. And he was in a, and this is the survivor man, Les Stroud. You know what his name is? Oh, that's the name? Les, Les Stroud. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, um, he said during one of the, one of the episodes that he, they filmed in Alaska, he said that he was by the water, just trying to find, he was fish or, or he was trying to find something. I don't remember, but he was by the water and his camera equipment was, you know, like 10, 10, 15 feet away from him. It wasn't recording. And he said he heard, he said he knows what a moose sounds, he sounds like, he knows what a bear sounds like. And he said, this didn't sound like any of those. And it said it made like a, it made like a, a whooping sound, like a really loud one. Like and what, what does that mean? Like a, I don't a whip know they, or what? No, they just do like whoop or whatever. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh. But he said that he, he heard it really loud, right? Because it, it, where he was at, it echoed pretty good. And he said it was pretty loud. And then, and then he, he didn't, he said he was just standing still. He didn't know, he didn't know what to do. And he went to go to hit the record button. He started walking towards, and then he said he heard something big just start running through the forest, smashing into trees. Boom, boom, boom. And then he's like, he said, I didn't know what it was. He said, he said it, it could have been, uh, uh, he said it sounded big. So uh, he don't, he didn't know what it was, but he knew it wasn't a moose. He knew it wasn't a bear. And he said, he, you can see the, 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 the trees where, where whatever it was running. It was hitting. It was hitting the trees. Boom, boom. And you could see those motherfuckers move. And he said, he said, that's the only time. Were they like thick trees or? It, they were regular sized big boy trees like okay. you would see in the forest. And he's like, um, um, I don't know how big they were actually. There's a video on YouTube where he explains to you. And also they, he talked about it in a few podcasts that he, um, was like a, a host, not a host, uh, that he went to. Yeah, he went to that they invited him to, to be on. And he explained the story a few times. And that's, that's, the, he's the only one I feel like. If he's the only one, and now he's like really heavy into Bigfoot stuff, but I feel like he's the only one that I feel that you in believe my that? Opinion, that I I believe that he 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 something happened. What it, what it was, who knows? But something happened with with him. Yeah, because yeah, it would seem like him. It just seems like he's always. I always feel like he's been really good. Like the, even the show itself was really good. On um, I feel like, and then he would stay for a week, right? Was it a week? And then he would just live off the land. That's gangster to just do it. I remember at a time when he was like, I'm so fucking hungry. You know, right? yeah. He was eating a fish and he did he eat it raw? Because yeah, he said he couldn't wait. Yeah, he ate it raw. Yeah, I couldn't, I can't wait anymore. I, and he's like, he's like, he was, he was like sitting on there and because of the show, right? He was like trying to come up with something to say. So for the cameras and stuff while he was eating, like something informative. And then he was thinking about it and he's like, oh, I can't fuck, I can't, I just gotta eat. I'm too fucking hungry. And he's like, <laughs> Yeah, that that's a good show. I I would watch that if you haven't watched it. Anything uh um you had anything else? You know how you told me about that dude that eat that reviews the chicken the what was his name again? The chicken. Remember the dude that reviews food all the time, but he like this. Yeah, he like this. Peaks one hundred. Like him though. Right now, like when it comes to food reviews, he's the top. In my opinion, that you come across. Yeah, at least for me, because he's funny, he, like his personality is, is good. And then he like, I feel like he's honest. I haven't tried none of the stuff he did, but I feel like he's honest with the re with the reviews. And it just it makes me want to go try some shit. But like every time he posts something, I watch it. It's interesting. He's new though, huh? or newer, or no? Or he's been I doing it for he, a while? I think, I think he's been doing it for like a little bit over a year. I'm not too sure. But I think he got popping like a year ago. Or last year. Hmm. Yeah, but it was ever since I started seeing him, I like started binge watching this shit cause, to catch up. And then ever since then, every time he posts, I watch. What was his name again? It the was channel? Peaks 100. Peaks? 
Peaks, yeah. P E A K S. Peaks one hundred. I remember seeing a few videos when, when, he, from me watching it. Yeah, from you watching it, you just come coming and you're watching it and then just seeing what he was saying, and, and it was funny. Some of the stuff he said was funny. And well, it, like when it comes to food reviewers, right? Well, the only ones I could think of is him and uh, Mikey Chan. Do can you think of anybody else? Not that I watch. Because who else reviews? Like, because you know, we know competitive eaters, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, the, that guy, Mastoni. Uh, Mastoni. He reviews food. He don't. He don't. He sometimes he he did, but majority of time is just like putting shit down. But it, his shit, his shit. That's what I'm saying. But it's, it does. He's not reviewing it. He's just putting it down. Yeah. Sometimes he'll say little things about about the food here and there. But as far as like critiquing the food and then giving it a rating and stuff like that, and he doesn't do that. And they always tell they always tell Peaks that he's a harsh critic. But I think, well, remember when we were in Texas and we were eating the barbecue, and then, uh, um, uh, Jr. Uh, Angie was telling us, um, he has a harsh critics. Yeah, yeah, cause it's cause it's cause like when it comes to food, I don't know if we're the best to critique everything because certain things I don't like, and it's like unfair to the to the dish. It's like it's supposed to have. It's supposed to be eat, eat in a certain way, and I, I don't like certain things, so it's like, so I understand that. But when it comes to barbecue, right? Barbecue, like how it's just it's just meat and barbecue sauce, and how what, what was it? The ribs. I remember the uh, well. The one thing that was good though, the that the little um, jalapeno. The, the, sausage? Sausage. Oh, the sausage. Oh, the sausage. Yeah, was, I, that, I mean, nothing. Good, nothing right? really but stand that. It out to me. From that dish, it was the ribs. The ribs were not; they were not. Especially like when we had something before that's better, and maybe we went. Uh, people probably can say we went to the wrong spot. What was it called? Do you remember? No. Rubies. I don't remember. Was it that? Maybe it was that. But like when I think Texas, everything that I saw, like on the internet before, everything looks hella good. Well, it didn't even look like that, so. I like I, I don't know. I we had better, better barbecue here. I know. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I think that's it's cuz you would think as you know how when you go to Mexico and it's like no matter where you go it's good food. Yeah. You try this this place that place and it's just like it's all good. And then you you would think Texas for for the kind of barbecue any and it was packed, huh? The place we went to was packed. There was a good amount of people there. Yeah, there was a good amount of people. There was still beers. It wasn't I wouldn't say it was super Cuz remember how lunch came and then everybody started coming in? Yeah, we were leaving. We had oh to, yeah, yeah. We had to get go to the side or whatever. People but I, like it, but I'm like I, the atmosphere was perfect. The atmosphere when I walked in and they had that big ass table with a bunch of ice and they had the sodas and you get to pick whatever you mm, want yeah. or if you wanted a fountain drink and then they had chips and then the menu it was like the way they the way they did it is you just had to get in line and you tell them I want um like what would they say half pound or, or whatever ribs or whatever or whatever they said i don't know what it was but everything when i was sitting there i'm like this is gonna be super good just because of the experience i've never ordered food like that before and they give it to you on a tray and yeah. they just slap that shit on there and i'm like oh yeah this shit it looked good it looked good and then i was so i was excited but it, it didn't mean well what, what would you rate it uh, i believe it was rubies i would give it a six i think that's fair what would i give it i'd give it a five I think it was average. The only reason why I thought it was a little bit above average is because of the the, the little jalapeno sausage stuff. That yeah, they but gave. see, I don't that remember. I don't remember liking that. Like, damn, this is good. I so remember that that's being why really good to me. It's a five. The one spot that was hella good is the last spot he took us to. I don't know the name, but it was um, it was a Mexican place, and we had uh, burritos, and we had did we have burritos? We had a quesadilla. Mm, remember yes. the girl? Well, the girl didn't even know what a quesadilla was. You were trying to explain it to her, and yeah, she didn't know weird. what that was. Yeah, that's weird. I to to be, and she spoke Spanish too, and everything. But she, she, I guess I didn't know. Maybe it was just a thing where they just they don't, don't serve do that, that over there. there. Yeah. But how do you not know where you like? Isn't it like even Chipotle have quesadillas, and they call them quesadillas? <laughs> I don't know. 
It just seems so weird. She came. She she asked you like a million times how right, and you told her. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. She she we, you were telling her, not me. And then she was like, and then she brought it. You out. were explaining to her like two tortillas and this. Yeah, and then just meat and cheese. At least they tried though. They they, tried they brought it. you they brought you uh, tacos cheese cheese and steak tacos huh? that's what it was in yeah. like a taco form wasn't it in a taco form oh I don't remember yeah it was like in a taco form but the one thing that stood out was the torta there that motherfucker was good, good. and then the sauce was good too and then it was, it was spicy it was pretty good that shit stood out that shit stood out at everything and then when we were over there we got to try um raising canes and then what else did we get to try because we ate a lot of food over there. Raising canes, what the? We had a. This we tried Church's chicken. Oh, yeah, we did. We tried the infamous, the famous Don Chui. Huh. Oh, Don Chui. That no. shit was hella good. Oh, yeah, Don Chui. And it, it, so I'm not sure if that's just the McAllen thing. Is that just the McAllen thing? I would think no? so. I mean, I don't, I don't, maybe, I don't know. So Don, Don Chui, Don Chui is, is like a convenient, or is it like a, com, it's like a convenient. It's like a corner store. Drive. Not a drive through, but it's like you can't go inside. It was weird because remember how the, yeah. first, the first time we got there. So Don Chui is basically just like a, if you if you guys live uh, more towards the, the West Coast where you have like the, it's like the lote guy thing when they have a bunch of Mexican snacks and dishes and all types of traditional foods. Uh, but it's like very, it's very like on the go stuff. So it's finger food type stuff. And, but you can't go inside, but it's a, it's like a, it's a, it's a, a building and you just park and I've never, I've never seen this before. So we parked, there was, there was nobody there. We parked and we got out the car and we went inside. We well, tried, we to tried go inside. inside. As soon as I got to the door, there's a dude running out at me and I'm like, I, I didn't know. I thought he was a customer. Like he was like running out for whatever reason. And then, and then he started talking to me, telling me, uh, how can I help you or whatever? And I was like, are you guys open? He said, yeah. And I, and he said, what can I get for you? And I'm like, oh, and then I realized, oh, he said, you don't have to come inside. You can stay in, we the, can car. Stay in the car and I'll get whatever you want. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this is one of these types of places. So we all started walking back. We told him what we wanted. And we started walking back. By the time we were at the car, he, he was already back, right? Yeah. We, well, he, uh, yeah. Cause we told him we wanted to try the, what type of waters he had. And that place, I don't know how, how we, we were just. We were just looking for a place that sold flavored waters. Flavored waters when they put fruit. Like, like a yeah, lot of Mexican fruit. places, they, yeah. they they sell. You know, it's the same. I'm sure people have had horchata. Yeah, here agua de limón. Yeah, agua de limón. Especially or, if you're over there. Yeah, so it's like we just wanted something like that. So we went there, and um, yeah, this shit didn't disappoint. Yeah, that shit was hella good. We went over and over and over again. <laughs> Damn near every day we yeah. went over there. Sometimes twice a day. Sometimes I didn't even want it, but I just wanted to go. I Every time we went, I, I wanted it. It was good. It was good. And then they give you these big ass cups of it. How much was it? Do you remember? I think it was like four bucks, three or four. I'm not sure though. I want to say it was more than that. I thought it was like $8. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. It was like, it was like, yeah, 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 right. It we was would give like them four. a 20. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> For what? For two? It was like 12 bucks total. Or 13. It was like 12 something total. And every time we went there, we would give them 20 bucks and keep the change. Because it's like, I don't know what it is about when people like do the most for you, you just want to do right by them. Yeah. Like it's like, I, we, we hardly go anywhere anyways. And when when people work that hard, you just want to, you know, even though eight dollars is not a lot, but it's like nobody tips like that. It's rarely for people to tip, like especially that. for no reason. Yeah. So it's like, but it's nothing. So we just twenty bucks, um, and and it, it was worth it though. I paid <laughs> if it was just twenty bucks <laughs> for two waters, I'd pay. It's pretty good. I think good. I don't I don't know if a lot of people would pay it for twenty Actually, bucks, it was good, but. Though. And it was yeah. huge. They gave us a big thing. Should have lasted us a while. Yeah, it was it was pretty big. But outside of that, we what else did we try? Did we try anything else? I don't remember anything else. We got oh yeah, we got the tacos from that one place. I don't remember the name. I I don't remember the names. But that shit was good because we went there multiple times. Remember? Oh, you're talking about the one that, on that like busy road, whatever it was. 
I don't remember what it I was I don't called. remember what the road was either. But yeah, that shit was hella good. Texas had good tacos, though. Go in, there's a lot of places in Texas that got good-ass tacos. Mexican tacos. But it seems like, yeah, it's almost like we, 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 we knew that, right? But we wanted some shit that we never tried before, like barbecue. Because we always hear Texas barbecue. Then we tried Whataburger. I tried that already before. And I remember it being better than what I got. So I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, the, the one place that I... So other than the taco place, the, the other place that I, that I fuck with was that Korean barbecue chicken place. The first time we went there, remember how we sat down? We sat down. Well, we went up and we ordered like two different types of styles of chickens and spice levels or whatever. Oh, yeah. I and we sat that. down. Do you remember we, what it was called? It. Mm. it was something Korean chip fried chicken. I don't know. Hey, that shit was good. And now that I look back on it, because I remember you were grabbing it and I just didn't want it anymore. But now I'm like, damn, I should have just ate it. Like, it's, uh, Maybe because I just, we don't have that over here. So now I'm just remembering. And I'm like, damn, it's, and then I have pictures of it. So then I look at it. I'll put a picture up so they can see. Okay. I'll put a picture up so they can see. Her. And oh, I'll put a picture of it on Chewy too. So they can see, and if they're in the area, they can go try if they haven't tried. They probably already tried if they live there. But yeah, I'll put a picture up so they can see. Thank you for listening to the AB Podcast. You can follow us in the links below. All our social medias are linked there. If you want to buy some merch, the merch that we're usually wearing in the podcast, you can buy it as well. The link will be below.